Pharmacodynamics, Wikipedia article audio. Pharmacodynamics is the study of the biochemical and physiologic effects of drugs. The effects can include those manifested within animals, microorganisms, or combinations of organisms. Pharmacodynamics is the study of how a drug affects an organism, whereas pharmacokinetics is the study of how the organism affects the drug. Both together influence dosing, benefit, and adverse effects. Pharmacodynamics is sometimes abbreviated as PD and pharmacokinetics as PK, especially in combined reference. Effects on the body Pharmacodynamics places particular emphasis on dose-response relationships, that is, the relationships between drug concentration and effect. One dominant example is drug receptor interactions as modeled by where L, R, and L, R represent ligand, receptor, and ligand receptor complex concentrations, respectively. This equation represents a simplified model of reaction dynamics that can be studied mathematically through tools such as free energy maps. Desired activity The majority of drugs either mimic or inhibit normal physiological-slash-biochemical processes or inhibit pathological processes in animals or, inhibit vital processes of endo- or ectoparasites and microbial organisms. There are seven main drug actions. Undesirable effects The desired activity of a drug is mainly due to successful targeting of one of the following. Therapeutic window General anesthetics were once thought to work by disordering the neural membranes, thereby altering the Na and influx. Antacids and chelating agents combine chemically in the body. Enzyme substrate binding is a way to alter the production or metabolism of key endogenous chemicals. For example aspirin irreversibly inhibits the enzyme prostaglandin synthetase thereby preventing inflammatory response. Colchicine, a drug for gout, interferes with the function of the structural protein tubulin, while digitalis, a drug still used in heart failure, inhibits the activity of the carrier molecule, NAKADPase pump. The widest class of drugs act as ligands which bind to receptors which determine cellular effects. Upon drug binding, receptors can elicit their normal action, blocked action, or even action opposite to normal. Duration of Action In principle, a pharmacologist would aim for a target plasma concentration of the drug for a desired level of response. In reality, there are many factors affecting this goal. Pharmacokinetic factors determine peak concentrations, and concentrations cannot be maintained with absolute consistency because of metabolic breakdown and excretory clearance. Genetic factors may exist which would alter metabolism or drug action itself, and a patient's immediate status may also affect indicated dosage. Receptor Binding and Effect Undesirable effects of a drug include The therapeutic window is the amount of a medication between the amount that gives an effect and the amount that gives more adverse effects than desired effects. For instance, medication with a small pharmaceutical window must be administered with care and control, e.g. by frequently measuring blood concentration of the drug since it easily loses effects or gives adverse effects. Multicellular Pharmacodynamics Toxicodynamics The duration of action of a drug is the length of time that particular drug is effective. Duration of action is a function of several parameters including plasma half-life, the time to equilibrate between plasma and target compartments, and the off-rate of the drug from its biological target. 
The binding of ligands to receptors is governed by the law of mass action which relates the large-scale status to the rate of numerous molecular processes. The rates of formation and unformation can be used to determine the equilibrium concentration of bound receptors. The equilibrium dissociation constant is defined by where L equals ligand, R equals receptor, square brackets denote concentration. The fraction of bound receptors is This expression is one way to consider the effect of a drug in which the response is related to the fraction of bound receptors. The fraction of bound receptors is known as occupancy. The relationship between occupancy and pharmacological response is usually nonlinear. This explains the so-called receptor reserve phenomenon i.e. the concentration producing 50% occupancy is typically higher than the concentration producing 50% of maximum response. More precisely, receptor reserve refers to a phenomenon whereby stimulation of only a fraction of the whole receptor population apparently elicits the maximal effect achievable in a particular tissue. The simplest interpretation of receptor reserve is that it is a model that states there are excess receptors on the cell surface than what is necessary for full effect. Taking a more sophisticated approach, receptor reserve is an integrative measure of the response-inducing capacity of an agonist and of the signal amplification capacity of the corresponding receptor. Thus, the existence of receptor reserve depends on the agonist, tissue, and measured effect. As receptor reserve is very sensitive to agonists' intrinsic efficacy, it is usually defined only for full agonists. Often the response is determined as a function of log to consider many orders of magnitude of concentration. However, there is no biological or physical theory which relates effects to the log of concentration. It is just convenient for graphing purposes. It is useful to note that 50% of the receptors are bound when equals KD. The graph shown represents the CONC response for two hypothetical receptor agonists, plotted in a semi-log fashion. The curve toward the left represents a higher potency since lower concentrations are needed for a given response. The effect increases as a function of concentration. The concept of pharmacodynamics has been expanded to include multicellular pharmacodynamics. MCPD is the study of the static and dynamic properties and relationships between a set of drugs and a dynamic and diverse multicellular four-dimensional organization. It is the study of the workings of a drug on a minimal multicellular system, both in vivo and in silico. Networked multicellular pharmacodynamics further extends the concept of MCPD to model regulatory genomic networks together with signal transduction pathways, as part of a complex of interacting components in the cell. Pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics are termed toxicokinetics and toxicodynamics in the field of ecotoxicology. Here, the focus is on toxic effects on a wide range of organisms. The corresponding models are called toxicokinetic toxicodynamic models. Stimulating action through direct receptor agonism and downstream effects, depressing action through direct receptor agonism and downstream effects, blocking slash antagonizing action, the drug binds the receptor but does not activate it. Stabilizing action, the drug seems to act neither as a stimulant or as a depressant, exchanging slash replacing substances or accumulating them to form a reserve, direct beneficial chemical reaction as in free radical scavenging, direct harmful chemical reaction which might result in damage or destruction of the cells, through induced toxic or lethal damage. Cellular membrane disruption, chemical reaction with downstream effects, interaction with enzyme proteins, 
interaction with structural proteins, interaction with carrier proteins, interaction with ion channels, ligand binding to receptors, hormone receptors, neuromodulator receptors, neurotransmitter receptors. Increased probability of cell mutation, a multitude of simultaneous assorted actions which may be deleterious, interaction, induced physiological damage, or abnormal chronic conditions.